And after, uh, by the way, the deadly mass shooting in Nashville in March, frontman for legendary country band Old Crow Medicine Show wrote an op-ed in the New York Times titled, Country Music Can Lead America Out of Its Obsession with Guns. And it reads in part this, quote, They say we love our guns down south, and it's true. They're part of the pageantry of our beloved Southland. Country music plays a central role in forming the South's gun mythology. When shots rang out inside Nashville's Covenant School and three adults and three children were murdered, the tragedy exposed the deep hypocrisy of a musical genre at once beholden to Christian principles and yet so unwilling to stand for peace. What the South needs now is an anti-assault weapons movement driven by forces from the center, by interfaith denomination leaders, by students, and by country singers who are tired of bending to the whims of fear mongers and who are ready to speak from their platforms to an impressionable audience. It's time for country music makers to use their platforms to speak candidly to their conservative audience. Let's bring around Kurt Bardella. He's a political advisor, also creator and publisher of the widely influential country music media platform, The Music Hangover. Uh, Kurt, um, we had Cheryl Crow on, who, of course, lives in Nashville and is tied into that community. Cheryl was willing to talk about uh, the gun violence, the, the madness of a gun culture that is now embraced by only, uh, if you look at the poll numbers, uh, embraced by a small segment of Americans. 90% of Americans want universal background checks. 75% of Americans want red flag laws. Uh, majority of Americans want the banning of uh, military-style weapons. And yet, there is, and I, I know, I, it's, it's kind of like Republicans will say one thing about Trump off camera and another thing on camera. Same thing with a lot of people in country music. They hate the violence. They hate the extremism, but they're scared to speak out. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, Joe, because we've had now really two major gun incidents that have hit the core of the country music community. Obviously, the Route 91 shooting, uh, the largest mass shooting in United States history at the concert in Vegas. Uh, while Jason Aldean was on stage. And then this most recent uh, terrible school shooting at the, the Covenant um, you know, Christian School in the heart of Nashville. And I think that this really has started to change, I think, how some artists are looking at this. Uh, we saw at the CMT Awards a few weeks ago, uh, country music superstar Kelsey Ballerini speaking out, saying uh, that, that something needs to happen here, uh, you know, dedicating uh, part of her uh, appearance to the victims of the Covenant School. Uh, a letter was just sent recently to Governor Bill Lee that was signed by a number of country music artists, Marin Morris, Kelsey Ballerini, Casey Musgraves, TJ Osborne, among others, calling for the legislature to start taking action and legislating some sh form of gun control. And that was important because in that letter, they talk about how a lot of these people are gun owners who signed this letter. They believe in the Second Amendment. They believe in the right to bear arms, but they also believe in common sense reforms so that we can keep our kids safe. When we talk about Christianity, religion, faith, things that are pillars of many country music songs and themes in the country music genre, well, part of that is protecting life. And it would be immoral not to do something about gun reform when these types of things are happening at a Christian school, for crying out loud. What more do people need to see to start realizing that this is a problem that needs to be legislated? That's the solution. Thoughts and prayers aren't enough, you actually have to take action. And I think as this debate starts going forward, especially in Tennessee, I do think we're going to see more country music artists speak out.